It is with immense pleasure and honor that we extend our warmest invitation to Professor Nimal Rajapaksha, who is currently serving as the Senior Deputy Vice Chancellor of Sri Lanka Institute of Technology. On behalf of Professor Lalit Gamage, Vice Chancellor of SLIIT, and Professor Lakshman Ratnayaka, Chancellor of SLIIT, I very warmly welcome all the new students and their parents. SLIIT started about 24 years ago with just over 300 students to meet a national need. And that need was actually to produce more graduate strain in the field of information technology and computing. Over the last 24 years, I think we have done an exceptional job and the Faculty of Computing at SLIIT now has more than 10,000 students. And in fact, it is the largest Faculty of Computing anywhere in Sri Lanka. And that shows actually the demand for this faculty and to the institution. And also it speaks about the quality of the program. And we are also the only faculty of computing in the country with the Institution of Engineering and Technology accreditation in Sri Lanka. So that also tells you that the standards we have are not only just national standards, we meet also the international standards in terms of our programs and our facilities and resources. So in terms of the two new programs, the computer science and computer systems engineering programs. These are programs that we went through a rigorous review by the Ministry of Education. After developing the curriculum, we submitted a proposal to the Ministry of Education and that proposal was reviewed by an independent panel and the panel actually approved us to offer these two degrees. So that itself also show once again the quality of the program and then this was done after a very careful planning exercise. I also want to mention to you that we consider these two programs as somewhat elite program. In other words, in terms of the selection, we have opened this program, I think, only to the students coming from the math stream. And we also have a special aptitude test we conduct to select students to this program. So those who are selected to this program, they are meeting higher bar in terms of the admission to the programs. The Dean of the Faculty of Computing, Dr. Nuan Kodagode. The word uni university also comes with the idea of universal knowledge. So the way that uh, university education is going to be different um, is that, of course, you have lecturers, you have uh, labs as well, but uh, lecturers and your tutors are just resource personnel. They are just there to guide you. And you have to do the studying, you have to be independent learners. Of course, it's important that you come for lectures, you come for labs and do the assignments and lab work that is there, but you have to go beyond uh, what is there in the syllabus. That is the expectation. So when you are a university student, um, you should not just be confined to the syllabus, but you are expected to learn things on your own and go beyond what is being taught and learn those things while you are here. And um, as a faculty and as a university, we will provide you with ample opportunities for those learning activities. Please join us in welcoming Dr. Tharaka Mohoti to grace the stage and to share his valuable insights with us. There are many people who help you to come to this level. Your parents, your teachers, your colleagues, siblings. So have a gratitude towards them and achieve whatever the thing you can achieve in your life. The competition is actually, I think, within ourselves. You may not compete others. You have to compete within yourself. Any person not evaluate themselves will never be exist. So you have to be very vigilant about your environment. If you depend on the others, you will, ne will never succeed. So what I want to say in the competition and all, depend on yourself. Develop your leadership skills as well. So then you can develop yourself, the industry, and you can lead this slip to another level. And I hope you all will agree with me and you will 
all the students have the courage to be a leader mr pahan mampalagama within the past years we've seen a remarkable transformation in our industry from the inception of the agile methodologies to fostering devops cultures and <clears throat> the ai revolution that we are currently seeing it's safe to say that our industry has evolved leaps and bounds and it continues to do so so in this ecosystem i think it's very important how you understand when and how to adopt these new technologies and gain that competitive edge in this rapidly changing landscape if i was to give one advice one piece of advice to anyone it would be to embrace the spirit of continuous learning because the it industry thrives on consistent innovation and keeping yourself up to date with the latest trends tools and techniques is vital in this field you will encounter complex problems that require creative solutions so when you embrace these challenges this will shape you into a more resourceful problem solver capable of adapting to any situation so this key component is very vital for your career and professional development and also i want to say be fearless in exploring new technologies new methodologies failure will only set you back and put you in the right path to success as you pursue your studies remember that knowledge is knowledge alone will not be enough it's how you apply that knowledge will truly matter thank you very much for everybody for taking part in this event have a very nice day historic moment for faculty of computing as we had the inauguration of computer systems engineering degree launch and computer science degree launch so as we are embarking on this new journey with faculty of computing uh, we are very proud to uh, intake our very first batch uh, for this cs and csc degree programs along with their parents uh, we had a very nice gathering uh, and we had uh, two honorable guest speakers who address our students to inspire them about the industry that they are getting into computer systems engineering is a hybrid program of computing and uh, engineering. Two C's and one S would be the minimum uh, entry requirement. This is the minimum uh, entry requirement stipulated by the Engineering Council. This is a four-year program sandwiched with six-month uh, industrial placement. The students are strongly equipped with analytical skills, theoretical uh, foundation and also quantitative skills. The student can be a computer systems uh, engineer, computer design engineer, a computer uh, system expert, network uh, specialist, and also become researcher as well as join the academia. These are few job opportunities. I'm thrilled to announce the highly anticipated launch of our newest academic milestone, the computer science program. In this program, we go beyond the surface. We will dive deep into the theoretical foundation of computing, exploring the mathematical principles that underpin the world of technology. Moreover, if you have passion for problem solving and interesting algorithms and a strong foundation in mathematics, then this program is tailor-made for you. Here you will develop the mindset of a true innovator, understanding not just how to use the tools, but how to build the tools themselves. Additionally, choosing between computer science and information technology can be challenging. But remember, computer science is the driving force behind technological advancements. It is the true heart of digital age and it powers the innovations that shape our world. So if you are ready to unlock the full potential of your mathematical skills, if you aspire to be a pioneer in the tech world, then the computer science program at SLIIT is the gateway to a remarkable future. A computer system engineer can work in a different area in the field of industry. So they can be 
computer and software industry as well as consuming electronic industry and the automotive industry and also can be uh, work under robotics as well as different field of current enhancing te technology industry and they have the ability to work as a manufacturers of the biomedical uh, equipment industry as well because they are moving with they have the knowledge in both computer sciences as well as engineering discipline the faculty of computing is proud to announce the commencement of two new degrees that is the bsc honors in computer science and the bsc honors in computer systems engineering these two new degrees cater to the higher end job market in the IT sector. A limited number of students from the A-level math stream were selected for these two degrees and they had to face an aptitude test. The Faculty of Computing is easily one of the largest faculties in Sri Lanka with over 10,000 students and a permanent staff cadre of over 160 staff members. SLIIT has a well-established internationally accredited degree uh, that is the BSc Honours in Information Technology, which we launched in the year 2000. In fact, SLIIT is celebrating its 25th anniversary next year, that is 2024.